Hi, Bob Thurwall here, market development agronomist with Bear Crop Science in southwestern Ontario. I'm excited to hear to talk to you today about our newest corn trait into the market in, in Canada, Tricepta Rib Complete. So pretty exciting technology built on the performance of our existing VT Double Pro trait and we're adding in that AgriSure Viptera trait to give us added mode of actions um, against some of your typical above ground insect pests that include European corn borer, fall army worm, black cutworm, earworm, as well as western bean cutworm. Tricepta rib complete also includes a 5% refuge, so we have automatic compliance for that refuge component, and it's built on the solid genetics within our DeKalb lineup. So we're testing our elite genetics right now with Tricepta rib complete trait to ensure that these new hybrids will perform the way you come to expect a decalb hybrid on your farm. As I mentioned, it's built on the performance of VT Double Pro technology, adding in that AgriSure Viptera trait to protect season long against Western bean cutworm. So by re eliminating that uh, ear feeding by that Western bean cutworm, we can help to reduce the, uh, the, the, the chance of having infection from Fusarium, helps to reduce that dawn level in the corn, and is really part of a tailored solution program that includes spraying a triazole uh, fungicide at silking to help protect that silk chan from, from silk channel infection. So we just want to have a look in the canopy here. We're going to walk in the corn and have a look at uh, where we look for western bean cutworm eggs when we're scouting at time of, uh, of tasseling and, and silking. So come on in the canopy. So we're in this corn hybrid here. We're looking, as you can see, we've got just about full tassel. The silks are just about ready to come out on this hybrid. And if we look above the ear leaf, usually we find these eggs approximately halfway between the tassel and the ear leaf. You can see those eggs there. And uh, so you know, we know there's some Western bean cutworm pressure in this field. And it sure feels good that when we have that Tricepta trait in the corn hybrid, we can count on season long control of that Western bean cut cutworm larvae. And so just to wrap up, so what, to, what can you expect in the DeKalb lineup? In the near future, we're testing hybrids and have uh, hybrids in our field scale plots this year that include maturities from 88 day right up to 107 day. Again, we're checking that performance and those agronomics of those hybrids to make sure they're as good as what we're growing today from an agronomic standpoint, as well as a yield, yield standpoint and performance. And we're pretty excited to launch this new trait into Ontario and Quebec for next year. So now we're standing in front of a Tricepta rib complete hybrid. And we'll just have a look at the ear tips here and see if there's any feeding in, in this uh, area. So you pull those tips back, you can see the nice clean ears. There's no indication of any feeding on that ear. The next one there, it's clean too. So again, that protein in that Tricepta rib complete gives you season long control from Western bean cutworm. It's a nice tool in the toolbox as part of a tailored solution that would also include spraying a fungicide application at silk timing, such as ProLine, and that ProLine will help suppress the possible infection of Fusarium or Gibberella ear rot, which can lead to increased dawn. So again, Tricepta rib complete, based on the performance of VT double pro trait, also has the Viptera trait in there to give us that added protection from Western bean cutworm, reduces that insect feeding on the tip of the ear, and reduces that chance of that secondary infection by that Fusarium or Gibberella ear rot, thus protecting your investment in your corn crop and increasing yields. So just to finish up with uh, the standpoint from the genetic side and what are we coming to expect from the DeKalb. And uh, we've got a couple of hybrids that are registered now for sale, DKC 5199 as well as DKC 5716. So I would encourage you to get out in your market development plots and have a look at those hybrids, compare them to the other hybrids in the lineup. Um, we're also evalu evaluating um, a handful of new experimental Tricepta hybrids this year, ranging from 88 day maturity right up to 106 day. 
and these will be scattered around Ontario in some of these local market development plots. Talk to your local agronomist, see where these hybrids are in the field and get out and have a look at them. But we're really trying to expand that maturity base uh, to have that uh, Tricepta rib complete trait in the, in the maturity of your, your area so you can offer them to your customers and help to, re, to protect that green quality on your customer's farm.